Yo, whoa! Is it, is it there? Okay, no, that's you. broken. No, almost, almost. What? It like almost went full. It's back. It's back. What? What? We can have a no running. way. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and welcome back to another Division video. And in today's video, in case you haven't already guessed it, we're talking about this bad boy, the Midas. The Midas is an SMG and it's one of the named high-end weapons in the game. See, while you can get high-end versions of pretty much all weapons, not all of them are named. For those of you that play the betas, then chances are you encounter the likes of Cassidy, Caduceus, Pakan and Liberator. And while those guns are still in the full game, so are many others. And the Midas is one of them. However, if you're one to read Reddit or other game related message boards, then you might have also seen that this gun is the topic of conversation right now. See, while it's ridiculously fun to use and almost comical in what it can do, it's also equal parts broken. In fact, kudos to Massive for reacting so fast, there's already a nerf plan for this weapon to make it a little bit more balanced. But before that, I figure we might as well take a look at what this weapon can do and show you guys just what makes it so broken and awesome. So if you guys do enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated, and comment down below and let me know what you think. Now to begin with, let's take a look at the weapon itself. Ignoring the DPS stat for the time being because my attribute distribution will skew this, it has a base damage value of 7224, an RPM value of 550, and a mag size of 32. However, with all my mods thrown on, that damage value jumps up to 8019, the mag size is now 57, and my overall DPS thanks to the attribute distribution is a little bit over 100,000. But, given that these values will vary drastically depending on your character and your mods, let's focus on the stuff that doesn't change. The talents. This weapon, being high-end, has three different talents. At the bottom, you have Vicious. This is active all the time, irrespective of your attribute distribution, and it increases your critical hit chance by 13% while at full health. Above that, you have Self-Preserved, which makes it so that critical hits with this weapon heal the user for 3% of the damage dealt, and this requires 1,417 firearm points and 1,889 electronic points, which is why my health that was previously over 100,000 has taken such a hit. I've had to do some reshuffling to try and get these active. And then the final perk, Trained, is the whole reason that this weapon is so broken right now. Critical hits increase signature skill resources by 4.6%, and that requires 1,889 electronics and 1,417 stamina. And what this second perk effectively does is it speeds up the rate at which your signature skill recharges. A signature skill uses resources, so increasing those resources is effectively like filling the bar. And if you've used a signature skill before, then you'll know that on average, out of combat, they take around 12 to 13 minutes to recharge. It's a little bit quicker if you're in combat, and of course if you have decent skill power to speed things up. But regardless, I'm sure you're aware that the signature skill is not something that is always available to you. Typically, you will save it for a moment that counts, and once you've used it, it'll be a while before you use it again. Well. The Midas says otherwise. See, the train talent increases resources on critical hit, and all SMGs, regardless of rarity or type, have a natural critical hit bonus, meaning that you'll land critical hits more frequently. The Midas has a 22.5% critical hit chance bonus, and that goes hand in hand with this perk. So to show you how it all works, let's use good old Madison as our test ground. I'm going to activate my signature skill right now so that it's used up, and I'm going to let it run out before moving into combat. And I'm using Survivor Link here because it goes well with the tank build that I'm working on. Now that the skill is empty, I'm going to run into combat and note that every single time I land a critical hit, i.e. every time you see an orange number, my signature skill is going to recharge faster. And as you can see here, after this first group of enemies, I already have my signature skill back and ready to use. And to be honest, that was pretty slow considering that the enemies were so spread out. So let's test this in a more concentrated environment. You all know this part of the mission, the enemies are going to come running out. Well if I pop my skill and start burning them all down, you will notice that while I'm using my skill, I am also charging it back up. Survivor Link increases my damage resistance and my speed, so I'm just using that to firm the shots, and you'll notice that as soon as it runs out, I've already got the skill back again, ready to use. So a signature skill suddenly goes from something that usually takes around 10 to 12 minutes to recharge, to something that now recharges in a matter of seconds. And bear in mind, you can also further increase your critical hit chance by using a skill like Pulse with the Tactical Scanner mod. The more frequent the crits, the faster the recharge. And also this applies to any signature skill. I'm only using Survivor Link because I'm using Midas to allow me to tank with this skill, 
but you could instead take Tactical Link and have an almost infinite damage boost. So, as I'm sure you can now begin to see, this is pretty broken. It wouldn't really be a problem if the game was a PvE only game and you just fought AI enemies, but given that it has a PvP component, this just isn't really fair to use against other players. And as mentioned, Massive have already acknowledged that this is an issue and are working on a balancing fix right now. I'll leave a link to the Reddit post that spoke about this down below and it includes a response from a Massive employee stating that they are working on a fix. So it is encouraging to see that Massive are super responsive to things like this. What I will say is that this weapon is ridiculously fun to use. I am a massive fan of SMGs, they are probably my favourite type of weapon in the game, and right back to the Alpha and Beta days I always wanted to see a high end version. So there's no denying that it's both fun and hilarious to see someone blitz through a hard mode mission using this and a signature skill, but again I can also understand why it's equally unfair. Now there aren't currently any details on what exactly the fix is going to be. Personally, if it was down to me, I'd say they should probably just reduce the effectiveness of the skill because as the talent goes, it's actually really interesting. And if you could dial it down to the point where, say, maybe it shaves sort of, you know, a minute or two off the signature skill recharge, then it might not be so bad. But obviously having a signature skill every, say, 30 seconds to a minute goes completely against the grain. Either way, that is pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a look at it, and if you're not lucky enough to get it for yourself, then at least you can see what it can do before it got nerfed. And I'll likely do an updated video on this once they patch it to show you guys how it's been changed. Also, to those of you that are going to ask, I got this as a random drop from a named enemy in the Dark Zone. So it's completely random, as it currently stands you can't buy it or craft it, you just have to find it. Now thanks very much for watching, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below and let me know what you think, and take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.